Once just did that to waste time. Smart man. If it had hit, that would have been cool, but he was cool with losing no, uh, Spencer too. All right, so is he going to be able to chip him out with the swords? Yep. Each sword, I think, gets like three or four hits. Oh, oh I don't know about tag. this. I don't know about this. Hawkeye as an anchor is really strong, and, well, I guess Nova is too, but Hawkeye would have had a lot more life. Oh, and Upa mad at him, so if we could hear him yelling from here when he dropped that. Uh, look at that. Oh, oh hey. okay, here he comes, Upa. Hawkeye has plenty of X-Factor left. He's a very, very fast and damaging character in level 3 X-Factor. But he's got two characters to finish off. He could probably chip Virgil wow, with chip. a Gimlet right now. Oh, no, he jumped into the super, which means this DHC is actually going to hit. And now he's going to have to do it honest, and that's not a good look. Well, here's how to start it anyway. And we know what Combo Fiend's nickname of Comeback Fiend comes that's from. That's right. Well, he's not going to get it this time. It's Combo oh. Fiend 2-1, to one, so... It's now one game away for Upa to get back to Grand Finals to get his rematch. And Combo Fiend, you can see it in his eyes. He expects to be in those Grand Finals and for him to be down to two, two to one, you know he's not happy. Yeah, right now it's coming down to the fact that Upa's Spencer is outplaying Combo Fiend's Nova. So let's see if he can actually get some traction here. Oh, he got that mix up, but he didn't get the follow up. Yeah, how about that? So Spencer now has another opportunity here for Upa. That's not going to work, so he's he makes himself safe. Swords. Oh, nice block there from Combo Fiend. Oh, <laughs> like it, the tick throw. Good stuff there, and he's opened up Nova again. He should be able to finish him off right here. Wow, Combo Fiend looks real mad. He really does right now. And for, for some players, that's a good thing to get mad. It makes you go into bat, mad beast mode. Well, let's right. see if he can do that here. That was actually a really awesome mix-up Upe had. He crossed to one side, crossed back to the other side, and actually opened him up, but didn't quite get the combo going. And now here comes Combo Fiend, but he missed oh, the, no. the hell from above. Here's an X-Factor again. We've seen this from Upa a couple of times now. And he's going to do it up again. Here's the super. Will this be enough? Yeah, it should be. And now we just have a Hawkeye left for Combo Fiend. Can he do this? He's going to hit him a couple of times. Ow. That's enough to kill. So Combo Fiend comes in this time with Gimlet, trying to mix his opponent up. He's nice one block. character away from elimination. Oh, wow. Nice tech there. Oh, he, he, he expected to zip out. And he's just saying, no, you cannot get out. Oh, he's going to level three to stop it. What's going to happen? He got him anyway. So now he's going to get X-Factor damage on the first few hits. Ow! Wow, that was a full-life Hawkeye coming in. He would have been better off just letting Spencer die. Oh, but here we go. Huge opportunity for Upa. But did that a little too slow, so he didn't get the OTG. Potentially big missed opportunity right there. Oh, is he just going to try to chip him? He did. Oh, so maybe Hawkeye gets some red life back. I don't know. Upa's made some weird choices here. Uh -oh. And that was definitely an accident. I could see it in his eyes. Oh. Now Hawkeye's down. And now only Spencer left. But Spencer, high damage character. He can make the comeback if he needs to. Oh, no doubt. And I like Combo being controlling that space above his head with that jump H. Ooh, that was a big risky whiff grapple on Combo B with the comeback. Evens it up two to two. You saw when Upa was high in the sky, he just kept jumping with H. Just kept jumping with H because he knows Hawkeye's H hits so high up that he was just kind of zoning him out from under. Wow, Upa trying to take a little bit of a moment there. Massage the temples, get back to fighting. Yeah, some nerves right there. He's got to get over the nerves. He's got to be able to make this comeback at this point. So two to two, winner of this will get into grand finals. And it looked like it was going to be Upa for sure for a while, but Combo Fiend with a huge comeback. Not like that should be a surprise. Pressure, pressure from Combo Fiend. Oh, and here he caught finally him with gets the air throw. throw. Yep. Gets the link. Yep. Oh, oh missed. a drop, but here it comes. Well, I don't know. In yeah, any case, a great yeah, it was a great recovery to come up for the air throw, start this over again, and he's got enough bars that he should be able to take down Spencer if he gets the whole combo here. It's right. DHC, bionic maneuvers. Yeah, here comes that biocom. Is this going to be able to finish him off? Yeah, for no. sure. He's got the follow-up, yeah. for sure. Yes. Oh, he does have to spend a bar. He didn't want to do it, but whatever it takes. And there's that high tag. 
Ooh, huge opportunity for Upa yeah, there. Yeah, crouching out into nothing. Nice, chasing down. Now when he's had this opportunity, oh, he's going to go for level 4, okay. Yep. And we can see him mashing. Done. So no need for X-Factor there, of course. And Spencer in now. It's 2-2, two two, pretty much even life on both. Nice Great blocking. Block. Wow, and he jumped, so it sucked him into range so he could punish. Gets the arm. Oh, and the Gimlet now. Okay, so maybe he wants Spencer out the back. Maybe just just about getting the damage and he's fine with either one being back there. Here comes the X-Factor. All right, but now Uba has to be careful. Any touch that gets blocked, he could potentially get counter x factor So he's going to have to be aware of, aware of that. Now Combo Fiend putting Spencer back in. Nice, here it's we Uba. go. He's going to go for the X-Factor combo. He's going to run out of time on it. Okay, good, good job right there. He was going to run out of X-Factor time, and it's not death yet either for Spencer. And so, oh, and he caught him. He caught him, and so he's going to get some extra hits off of this. But Upa, look how much life he has. He's just got to chip him. But he's got to be careful. Combo Fiend still with X-Factor. Yeah, very, very dangerous right now is Combo Fiend. Oh, it Ooh, it's Rombo. That's a huge one for Combo Fiend as Hawkeye goes down. It's just Spencer left with oh, nice, X-Factor. Nice zip to escape. And he's going to hit. Here. And great block right there. It's a high-low mix-up. But he's going to be able to block that. I don't, I don't, I don't like the Gimlet. I, Combo Fiend, of course, knows that that's an option. Oh! Combo Fiend does it again, does it again. Combo Fiend will not be stopped. Always putting on a show. Train keeps a rolling. Train Always putting keeps on a, show. a rolling. Yeah, Combo Fiend will crash chats. That's what he does. <laughs> Good stuff. And look at Fnatic with the smile on his face, shaking his head. Yeah. He was like, I was sure you were done, son, but... <laughs> and finally, Combo Fiend breaks into the smile. You know, well, he's, he's, he's where he expected to be this whole time. Right. He had been looking finals. so serious this whole time, and now he's here shaking it. Oh, if you didn't see, that was Upa's hand yes. right there, giving him another handshake. And it's a heartbreaker for Upa, no doubt. But you know what? He did a really amazing job. He, he was right there. Well, he was, but that's not, you know, of course, that's not good enough. Right. You want to get to Grand Finals. You want to win. And he had two games where it looked like yeah. he probably should have done it. He gave away the last two games, for sure, for sure. But, you know, definitely look at look back at the match, find out where your mistakes was, but at the same time, definitely be happy with the results. He did a 100-man tournament. Yeah, you know, three out of out of 100 is pretty solid. You can't complain too much, but as, as a competitor, you know, if you're not getting first place, you're not, you're not happy. But, oh, there's that combo fiend catching high. Once again, block high against... Nova, and we're going to get some bionic maneuvers to finish him off. No need for another super, not that he has it, but no need either because it's just Magneto. And Storm in now. Oh, I think he meant to actually do the... the javelin? Javelin, yeah. Nice. He, he went low this time. Yep. And he's going to hard tag over. That's such a pretty combo. It's so sick. Oh, oh he no, missed it again. It he's again. Missing, he's been missing that OTG. Oh, can he get the air throw in time? Oh, he blocked in time. Wow. Yeah, just in time. And you see uh, Fnatic activating X Factor to like save himself or something. Oh, he's, pick him up. Yeah. he's got the big robot at least. And, and it's look, enough. And the robot is down. Nice. Hey, it's a punish. Definitely, but Storm has a lot of work ahead of her. Oh, yeah. And that's not a very damaging super. And now he's just going to get some chip there. Hoping to catch an assist or something. And oh, this should be it right here. And yes, it is. Combo Fiend takes the first game. Now remember, he's coming from loser's bracket. So it's going to be three out of five. Uh, two nice sets potentially three win, out of five. Yeah, yeah he's got to win the first three out of five set to even it up. And then take the second three out of five if he wants to win the tournament. Nice, he just got to the other side right there. Sentinel has already taken half life. And he's got two bars, which means this should be a dead Magnus, and it's gonna be. Just got word that I'm gonna be playing my cross next in Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012. You have to go up against the man who is representing us in Korea. I know, I know. So Fnatic now. With X-Factor uh, just about to run out, Storm sent. 
Ooh, trying for that fancy track blue. Oh, nice. Caught him with the overhead there. And here we go. And into more. Oh, oh interesting. No. He went for the help from above instead of the grapple. All right, so a little overhead there and a, and a smile from Fnatic when it happened. Yep. But nicely for Kamal Fing, still sitting on his X-Factor, so which means any touch right now Great is going to be a dead sentinel. Well, except uh, okay. off of that throw. Huh. Ooh, I don't know. That's not what he wanted to do. Clearly, oh! Did you see the recognition that that stand L hit and he yeah. linked it? In, in, all right, he, he canceled it into the S. All right, so wow, just that's some eyes. Oh, coming down with buttons, but somehow missed, and, but he should be able to finish it off here. Combo Fiend, 2-0 in the first set of Grand Finals. And he's still shaking his head just because he knows that there's, you know, he dropped a few things. Even in a victory, he's still upset at himself. That is the perfectionist that Combo Fiend is. All right, here we go. Fnatic hasn't had some good starts yet, and he gets a good start here. All right. Oh, he is done. Luckily for me, he had that full length of the screen for yeah. the Shockwave. Trying to set up the oh. approach. I like, you know what? I like the stand jab. Typically, people come up with the air throw right there. And Combo can probably be looking for that. But stand jab was good enough to do it. That high, that high stand jab yep. from Magnus. Oh, he might get both here. He's only going to get one. Yeah, he X Factor to save himself. New, Spence, the new Sentinel was in trouble. But look at this. He's going to be able to finish off Storm anyway. Arm is going to do it. And Fnatic has no more X Factor again. So each game so far, he's lost it early. Ooh, Fnatic got that overhead. Oh, look at that. Look at that mix up. He went cross up. Fnatic was so happy that he blocked that cross up that he did not block the overhead afterwards. Right. Keep you guessing. Keep you guessing. Don't care if you block the first two or three as long as I get you with the fourth. Yeah, I don't know why he would do I percent on force right there. He had no way out of it to make it safe. No X Factor, no DHC, and Spencer with the punish. All right. And uh, no. DHCs though, but he's going to be able to continue it a little bit. Oh, oh okay. What kind of crazy mix-up is he doing here? Okay, good stuff there from Fnatic. But he's not going to be able to... Can he link it over? No, last it didn't hit. And he went for the command throw, and Kamalfin smartly jumps over. Wow, and it's a 3-0 in the first set, and Fnatic looks like he... I don't know. Yeah, and you saw Kamalfin. He did it again. Kamalfin, you saw him glance a little bit yep. over at Fnatic, saying, is he mentally done? Is he mentally done? Yep. And you know, I think Fnatic is kind of giving him what he wanted to see. A little bit of frustration, a little bit of, what am I supposed to do? You well, know? Fnatic is one of the best players at adapting on the fly, so let's see what he can get here. Yep. But the first set is over. It's now evened up in Grand Finals. Winner of this next three out of five is going to take the whole 100-man tournament today. Well, Combo Fiend was definitely one of the favorites, but he lost early to Lawrence. Oh, he went for the mix-up there. Uh, nice. Yeah, well, we've seen that reset hit. Yep. Oh, nice block. He went low there, and Fnatic jumped and got away, and he missed that overhead opportunity again. Yeah, yeah, that's the second time so far in this set. Oh, no, and then he got caught with that air dash jab. He's probably not even going to need any meter. Nope, just building it. Storm in now. Oh, boy. Just a little just out too of range, far, yeah. yes. Oh, but he's got a happy birthday. And they're going to fall. Oh, they're going to die. Both of them, nice. Great job by Mr. Fnatic, too capitalize on the situation right there, but Spencer remains, keep in mind, very dangerous. Yeah, if I, yeah, I like this play right now. Get him to try to maybe use X-Factor. Wow. That's, that's totally what he's doing. He's baiting him into using the X-Factor. Right. Mr. Fanatic is okay with dealing chip damage, but if not... Oh, oh no! On X... No, he's that's still gonna side. save it. Now, this time, will he do it? Yeah, he has to. Wow. No, not quite yet. Now he's got to do it over there with the drones. He did not know the drones were coming. Did he just forget he had X Factor? I don't know. Because he saved it for way longer than he should have. Hard to know. I mean, obviously, it's hard to see if you have an X Factor with the gigantic blazing X in the middle of the screen. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. He just had one. Oh wow, he's got him, and he yep. goes through the drones. Yeah, if he doesn't care about drones and that. Oh, he he caught him, he opened him up. He threw an energy javelin, I don't like that. That was an ill-advised energy javelin. And another one, yeah, for sure. Take this character out while you can, and he does. So Combo Fiend now with two characters left. Oh, nice. 
just on on the Sentinel. Set up, setting up his approach. Nice oh, cancel. Okay. Oh. And you see what he's going for there, trying to get right. through, block, through uh, block stun. Nice counter right here. He's going to be able to do some good damage. And run out some X-Factor time as well, which is pretty important right now. Watch out. Well, actually, he's running out his own X-Factor. Oh, yeah, think. you're right. No, you're right. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong side. All right, here we go. Combo Fiend trying to get back Ooh. in. He's got his one in the <laughs> corner. I like that he always presses the double right, H right. right there. He's gotten real smart with that. Oh, into nothing. Oh, oh he saw it. Nice. And oh. he's going to bring in the Spence. It's oh, a little just bit a little off. bit, yeah. At that point, it is like target practice. A screen away. Right. Oh, has he got him? That is so smart. I love this counter to the zip and to the assist. Ow! That is a really, really smart move. Now he's got to activate X Factor to get Hawkeye some life back faster. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. He's okay, he's going to get some life back anyway right now on Storm. Boom, boom. Gets the arm. All right, no X Factor still? No, he's saving it. Combo Fiend says, I don't want to make comebacks with X Factor. He's still trying to set up his approach. Now has to be cautious get around the drones. And Fnatic looks like he's going to be playing this keep away kind of game right now. All right, now Definitely too far for that. Nice. Oh wow, the invincibility on that shockwave. So Combo Fiend, oh he's going to be able to get him. What oh, it's the? double, it's double, yeah that's right. I if mean, they're right next to each other right that, like that, the Gimlet will just go through and hit the and hit them both. And, and you he know X what? It looks like he X-factored so that the Gimlet, when it hit, was actually yes. powered up. Yeah, that is, that is what, what happens. Ouch. Uh-oh, wasn't sure what side he was going to be on, so came out with a super by accident. Yeah, really oh, smart. happy birthday. This but it's huge. Sentinel, it's Sentinel. Let's see if he can keep it going. Yeah, yeah. well, Nova is one of the better player or characters at, at really converting on that kind of oh. stuff. This has got to be super discouraging for Fnatic, looking like he was on the verge of going up 2-0. Ooh, whipped in his face. And this this really should be it here if Combo Fiend hits the combo. He's got X-Factor and plenty of meter. And no, he doesn't. He went for a reset anyway. Combo Fiend is just styling right now. Well, you can't get complacent against Fnatic Storm. It's too strong for that. Yep, and just like that, Nova down. And he's got more X-Factor time, enough to take down Spencer, maybe, if he were to hit immediately. Maybe not now. Yeah, great yeah. runaway there from Combo Fiend. Good stuff. To wear out that X-Factor. Punished on the overhead, but not into anything too damaging. I Gets like the juggle. I like what he did there. He went for an air combo and option selected into that Typhoon. So in case it missed like it did, he was able to get that Typhoon off. Oh, wow. Huh. That was very, very fast. It, I think it hit one of the hail. Oh, you might be right about yeah, that. Yeah, so I think it is a projectile then. And this is why he should have activated X-Factor to finish him off. Oh, he just walked into it. And the X-Factor, yeah. And again, that's going to be game. Two yeah. for Combo Fiend, so two to one, he's on the verge of winning the tournament, coming back from losers yeah. early on. Not sure why Fnatic just walked into those arrows there. Maybe he didn't think they were going to fall so fast. Oh, oh it's happy a happy birth birthday! Except Hawkeye manages to drop out. Well, it's good damage on both anyway. Yep. Nice high blocking, see? There you go. Good stuff, and he's chasing down with that shockwave, and he's going to be able to finish him off. With that Hailstorm right there, Combo Fiend down to Spencer and Hawkeye. Still a very potent combination. All right. Now, with Spencer with so much life, does he want to snap in Hawkeye to get him to lose all that health? I don't know. Nope. He's not going to be able to build yeah. Gravity Squeeze or anything like that. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Chasing down. Nice X-Factor. That is so smart. Get out of the block stun. And in addition to that, when you're throwing, you, you can't be hit. So any of the, the arrows as they come down, he's not even going to be worried about those. Fnatic on the verge of evening it up here in the grand finals. Chasing him down. Oh, we got both of them. X-Factor again. Oh, no. Magneto OTG. Oh, yes. no. And just like that. Storm is all that remains between Combo Fiend and the tournament here. Oh. Oh! Picks her up. Bionic arm! And the OTG afterward. Is it enough? Not quite. Oh! Oh! Next! He still has 
This is gonna do it! Oh my god! Wow, Fnatic stays alive! He is hyped! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Just like that. Just, just barely. What? Right down to the end here. It's 2-2 two to two in Grand Finals. Winner of this game. Great stuff from Fnatic it. there. Good mental fortitude to finish that out. Yes. Oh, nice. Once again, using that. And he's gonna expect it because he's got the happy birthday to do as much damage as possible. And now he's opened up Nova. Nova is down. Got gonna try to get back in here against Spencer. No, okay. Oh, oh, just as I said that, he backed off and saw that combo beam. Wanted to get out of there. He backed off to this range where we've seen now a couple of times that Magneto has the standout anti-airs. Interesting choice there that he did snap in Hawkeye like I thought he was gonna do last game. And using that standing L again. And look at this. He's gonna... Oh, no. X-Factor. No, he's Not just gonna, gonna let do it. He's gonna let it rock with Spencer. Level 3 X-Factor Spencer is in the building! That's, oh boy, oh, maybe but not. That should be it right there. Fnatic, he has no meter. But he'll be able to build it. He's got one super. Oh, he doesn't have X-Factor. This actually might not kill him. Oh, it's no. not going to do it! Does he get the punish? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. X. He is going to do it. He's going to get the juggle. All okay. right. Heads up here. Combo Fiend. Very, very dangerous right now. He cannot. Fnatic cannot take a hit. He's got to get away. Oh, we got oh. him! We got him! And this he has an enemy a Yeah, he's going to be able to finish it off here Hell with the hail. Storm. And Fnatic is going to take the first week of Wednesday Night Fights Arcade Edition in 2012. On the in verge. In nail-biting fashion. On the verge in that last game with the crazy comeback. Fnatic, Lauren Fnatic Riley takes it. Wow, what a game. What a set and what a match right there between those two. That was awesome. Combo Fiend in the first set just blew him up, and yeah. you could see that Lauren was was adapting in the second set yeah, with yeah. things like the stand L, anti air, and with the with the anti air shock wave, and right, with the way right. that he was flying around and pressuring. Awesome, awesome play. You said it. You said that he's one of the best players at adapting yeah. on the fly, and that showed you right there. And like I said, as soon as he landed that last combo on that fourth game, on the second set, great. Mental fortitude there not to drop it. A lot of players drop That's combos true. That in was those a situations. huge, huge moment. Yeah. I mean, that was his tournament life on the line, and he needed to hit it, and he did. Yeah. And Good. that's why he's one of the best. Yep. Congratulations to Fnatic winning yes. the first week of 2012 Wednesday Night Fights. Over 100 players in that yeah. tournament. I mean, this is an impressive win. Uh, Wednesday Night Fights always has top-level talent, but tonight when it seemed like most of SoCal was out, Yes. Lots and lots of people were here. Yes. 100 people at just a weekly tournament. And he took it. So congratulations, congratulations. to Fnatic. And we... Oh, I just want to remind you about the Super Arcade Soul Calibur event coming up. Yep, that's going to be this Saturday. Super Dojo. Oh, yeah, that's right. And we also uh, want to mention that for the subscribers... Uh, level up for, for Level Up's birthday to the subscribers... Uh, you can enter to win this ra uh, raffle to win this joystick. It's real fancy. Um, I guess I can't yeah. take it out, but it's really nice looking. I, I really like that stick. I, this it's is really the limited cool. edition one too, because um, there's a new street. There's a what's that? No it's no longer in no production. Longer production. There was only uh, there's a new Street Fighter Cross Tekken stick coming out, and it's not any like this one has that unique design. It's the red one with the. It's, yeah. It's like the 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 w most unique shell for the, a Mad The Cat color scheme stick. is really cool yeah. looking. Yeah. 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 yeah, thanks to Mark Man for sure. And again, uh, season one is actually going to last two months. Same, actually, all three seasons are going to last two That's months. That's half the year right there, buddy. Yep. That's going to lead all the way up to and, Evo. And check it out. In between seasons, there's not going to be any break. March 21st, very, very next week is March 28th, season two opener. Yep. And check out, of course, uh, Level Up series uh, on all sorts of social media. Thanks to Level Up for providing the stream. I hope you've enjoyed it yep. tonight. The Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 action was really, yeah. really strong. All right, all right. And also, there I you just can find the Twitters for the various members of Level Up. Yep. Alex and Jimmy and AJ and Frank and Brian and Lewis. Yep. And shout outs to Shuriken.com, your competitive edge. Uh, lots of great information there. Um, very useful forums. The great wiki there that Olaf Redland has been doing a great job with. Yeah, if somehow you're not familiar with SRK, that is the hub. Yep. That's the central location. 
And so go check it out. Of course, I want to remind everyone to, uh, what's that? Yeah, oh, okay. we, we also want to talk about the stream that James and I have been starting up, right. Ultra Chen TV. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to see it le uh, yesterday or Monday, we're on Monday and Tuesday nights at 8, 8 p.m. Pacific time. Pacific time. And even right. if you can't watch it, uh, we upload the videos to YouTube very slowly thanks to I have really internet slow connection. internet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. But uh, you can check us out at twitch.tv slash ultrachentv for the live version uh, or for the archives. And then on YouTube at youtube.com slash ultrachentv. Also, Twitter and Facebook.com slash Ultra10TV. It's, it's a match analysis show. It's for newcomers. You're doing a show for newcomers. Right. I'm doing a show for relatively high-level play. And then Tuesday nights, we're doing a show that's uh, kind of a mix of everything. Yeah, we'll try to do as much as we can. So. That's right. So I hope you've enjoyed the stream tonight. Uh, my name is Ultra David. You can follow me at Ultra David. Yeah, and you can follow me at Jay Chenzor. And you can follow us at Ultra10TV. That's right. So. Thanks a lot. All right. See you next time. <laughs>